Dear brother and sisters in faith, Waheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji Ki Fateh. On behalf of the Sikh community of the United States, I want to congratulate the people of Greece on the bicentennial of the Greek Revolution. The Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America has chosen faith in freedom as its theme for the special bicentennial. And I'm honored today to share with you the Sikh perspective on freedom in faith. The Sikh faith is one of the youngest major religions of the world. Six number about 25 million worldwide and are today a visible religious community both in the United States and in Greece. We view our faith as an independent, divinely revealed faith with a unique set of beliefs, a cohesive organization, and a special history which define our faith and consequently the unique identity of its followers. We view our scripture, Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib, to be the word of God. As six, we believe in one God revealed to humankind through the Guru. The Sikh view of God is summarized quite well in the Mood Mantar, an expression that is used in full or abbreviated form at the start of every collection of verses in Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib. The English translation of the Mool Mantar is One God, Eternal, the Reality, the Name, the Creator and the Doer, Imminent, Fearless, Without Rancor, Transcending Time, Never Born, Self Existent, and Realized Through the Guru's Grace. As six, we love all creation as God's own manifestation. Acceptance of all faiths and interreligious understanding and respect are a basic to a six faith. The history of the six has shown remarkable consistency in the pursuit of these idols and in the defense of the right of free worship of people of all faiths. For a Sikh, there are no good people or bad people. Everyone is made by God. All are created by God. They may appear to be different, but all are of God's creation and are a part of God. So what does faith and freedom mean to the Sikh community? In 1621, 400 years ago this year, the ninth Sikh Guru, Siri Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib, who was bound in the South Asian region of Punjab, sacrificed his life for the right of Hindus to wear the sacred thread and the saffron mark on their forehead, even though he did not believe in those rituals himself. This is perhaps one of a few examples in the history of religions where the founders of a faith sacrificed his or her own life for the right of people of another faith to practice their faith freely, even though he disagreed with the practice. This is what religious freedom means to a Sikh. Everyone, and I repeat, everyone should be free to practice their own faith. The example set forth by the ninth Sikh Guru, whose birth anniversary, 400th anniversary we celebrate this year, continues to provide inspiration to Sikhs all across the world to not only practice their own faith, but to stand up for others, to practice their faith without fear or coercion, irrespective of whether we agree with their beliefs or not. Any faith that believes in honest prayer cannot be a false faith. As six, we believe that God pervades the entire creation, including the hearts and minds of every human being, irrespective of faith, caste, race, gender, creed, etc. All of us are equal in the eyes of Vaheguru, Vaheguru or the glorious Guru. We believe that we can achieve mukti or salvation while living when we recognize and honor God's light in everyone and rise above the influence of lust 
anger, greed, attachment, and sense of individuality apart from God. The Guru tells us, no one is an enemy, none a stranger. I get along with all. Human life is an opportunity to meet with God, and one can merge with God's light while still living. If we can honor the holiness of all, including the religious other. For a Sikh to achieve salvation, it is imperative to honor God's light present in everyone. To do so, one has to do more than tolerate. One has to engage with, work with, and understand people of all faiths across religious boundaries. In closing, as people of faith, we need to stand up for the free practice of not only our own faith, but also for the free practice of the faiths of others. By building such interreligious harmony, we will truly be able to realize faith for and in freedom. Once again, my warmest wishes to the Greek people and to the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America as they celebrate and observe the bicentennial of the Greek Revolution. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.